Hello, everyone. This is Todd Talks. I am yet again joined by Mr. Jim Davis of WebDM. And whoo, guess what we're talking about? <laughs> wow. <laughs> we're talking, All right. We're talking about Unearthed Arcana. <laughs> and we've got some class feature variants. I've had to get yes. my mouth quiet about this for a long time. Yeah, is this what <laughs> you 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 dropped a bit of a hint a few weeks ago, and I didn't press because I know the uh, the the gesh that you're under. But uh, I, uh, yeah. I never break NDAs, nor do I hint at it's anything. Powerful um, magic. Powerful magic. <laughs> I am bound. <laughs> yes. So, Let's chat. So this is this is um this is a coup. <laughs> Mm. Uh, Ooh. this is not what we normally see from Unearthed Arcana. This is no massive amount of variance for our, every single class, except for Rogue, really. Rogue doesn't get much. Yeah. And I would argue Rogue doesn't need much. Um, no. But what, what, what are some of the highlights that we're getting out of this? First off, everyone's going to talk about Revised Ranger, right? Like, everyone's going to bring sure, this yeah. up. I yeah, yeah. really like these options that you can now choose from for the Ranger um because as we were talking talking about before the show if you were playing a ranger who's an horizon walker it doesn't really make sense for you you to have a specialized land that you are good at and it doesn't always make right. sense for you to be a hunter of a very particular um you know race or type of creature either mm -hmm. um yeah yeah and yeah. and this rectifies this but more importantly i i and I'm love, I love that they're doing this, and this is very much a new theme for this year for D&D, for D &D, is including creature stats within the class. I think it's the yes. right thing to do. It doesn't yeah. require you having a monster manual, and it doesn't restrict you in what creature you're using. So you could have just a giant spider all the time, if that's what you're really mm -hmm. into, right? So let's kind of break Absolutely. down the ranger. How do you feel about the ranger now? Oh, I mean, like I'm in. I'm playing a ranger right now uh, uh, in uh, fourth level. Just made fourth level, actually, and I, I, I want. I feel the need to say they, <laughs> that this ranger has three eighteens and a sixteen, so that colors a lot of my experience <laughs> <laughs> with them. And those are legit rolled stats as well. Anyway, oh man, um, that, that, and that's so... a, that's an eight year old <laughs> ranger if I ever heard of right. one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so like, I don't know. So I. I play them in a very like aggressive action hero kind of uh, mode. They whatever it is, a river I jump in it. Cliff I'm a climb it. You know, spider I'm gonna get on its back. Last, the last of Mohicans just run. Yeah, pick, pick yeah. up one weapon, throw it. Absolutely, running, picking up and throwing another weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So like I like that. Say the Deft Explorer. Like if you're not using the Overland Travel rule stuff that a lot of what you get out of natural explorer doesn't really ever factor in and a lot of dms sort of hand wave all that anyway so you can sort of see like yeah i mean that's in a lot of campaigns like how often are you tracking how much ground a party covers and while they're foraging and keeping an eye yeah. out for trouble and things like that or how often does the ranger make long-term trips by themselves that their ability to move faster by themselves ever come up whereas yeah. like Give me a climb speed. Give me a swim speed. Give me expertise and survival. Um, right. Even though you have that through Natural Explorer kind of uh, backdoor, but I um, so I like all of these options. I like being able to recover a in, uh, a <laughs> exhaustion on a short rest because mm -hmm. it makes me want a multi class to berserker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. uh, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I like all three. Like, yeah. You get more skills um mm -hmm. you know you can double your proficiency bonus we're seeing this a lot amongst a couple of the classes yes, where you get to yeah. specialize and i'm all for it i i, I don't yeah. feel like that should be the only thing the rogue you know the, ro the yeah. rogue gets that and, and it's lovely and there is a feat that allows you to get it but i do like a you know a ranger who's super specialized in like stealth and perception and survival I think it makes sense for Ranger. I, when it showed up in Barbarian, I was sort of scratching my head about it. Um, yeah, but I can see that. It, it, but for Ranger, I, I think it makes sense here, and especially within the narrow range of skills that you want to be really good at as a Ranger. Um, like you don't want to be looking at <laughs> at multiclassing into a, a scout. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Just to be the best in in the woods or something. But now, um, 
Okay. Oh, I would like to see, like, there's a part of me that wants to see something more done with skills and skill proficiencies than just expertise. And we're stretching our legs with fifth edition here. We're five years in. We're seeing what more the system can do with these. And so seeing, when I start seeing things like more abilities that grant temp HP or more abilities that just give you expertise, mm -hmm. I'm like, like, we can push further. Like what? A, like there's got to be there's other things that we could maybe start exploring. Maybe bring back the proficiency die in some cases as right. a way to uh, you know add something different that's similar. I don't, I'm not sure. You know, uh, I just know that it's like the same. Some of the same stuff gets recycled, and I will, I'm ready to see some boundaries pushed even further. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see that. Um, yeah. I but overall, boy, if you want, if you want to play a Boba Fett type ranger now, you can. There you go. <laughs> overall, there yeah, you go. Overall, Absolutely I'm, right. I'm very happy with this. Favorite foe is interesting. So this replaces favorite sure. enemy. And I I never really liked having a favorite enemy. Um, but favorite enemy is something that's been in DD for a very, very, very long oh, time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, but this is less proficient. Like you had to increase to damage. I think that was was it in like first edition? Because first edition had giant classed enemies, which were everything from kobolds up through all the giants. Yeah, I uh, had, I had it. Cause yeah, I literally have my yeah. first character sheet, and it's on there. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So there's this whole big, you know, like huge list of like really common enemies that you would face, yeah. all giant classed. Interestingly enough, all, all right, this is a bit of D and D trivia, but it's mostly all from this book, which I found. Uh, book of the weird uh, which has a bunch of cool stuff in it anyway that's a big aside um and they morphed into favorite foe or favorite enemy and then uh you know the till we have what we have now but um i like so i think like <sighs> hunter's mark always felt like one of those things that was an ability that got turned into a spell because right. there was that that it didn't there was like something about the way it was worded or something that was maybe didn't work as an ability so i i like seeing it turned more into just like you're just you know you've marked someone for you know death or whatever um but yeah that's uh, what the ranger yeah. does i mean almost to the point where like eldritch blast is just so tied up into like who a warlock is <laughs> you know, like, yeah it's, same it's, it's, it's a, a similar thing with that, yeah but, yeah similar um, thing there so this is this favorite foe is interesting because now there's no concentration there's no spell components uh, you can do yeah. this as many times as your you know your wisdom allows um uh -huh. so what's funny what is interesting is okay if it doesn't require concentration sure doesn't require a spell slot can you mm -hmm. layer hex on top of this as well like if you're a variant it seems human, like it you grab it the, you like grab it, sure. the warlock feet then you're you're doing like 2d6 with every hit that pretty, sounds pretty, like that's pretty, pretty brutal, means right <laughs> pretty mean stuff <laughs> so i mean like unless yeah. they do something where like okay it doesn't require concentration well yeah it's just i mean as as it says right here it looks like you could double it up but i, I think I so, yeah it, it, it looks like it you know and I, I'm not sure how I, I like what the elegant solution to that is other than a ham fisted. No, like, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> I think if it was, if it came up at my table, I'd just be sort of like, well, you know, that sounds like a lot of damage from a two, two dagger wielding variant human, yeah. <laughs> you know, at first um, level. I mean, it is, I mean, you can say like, well, this still is Hunter's Mark and it is a concentration spell. However, it sure, does not yeah. require concentration. So you cannot yeah, cast yeah. two concentration spells at the same time. It still yeah. technically says, in my opinion, I, ru ruling would be no, because that's sure. also just getting silly. Like, right, right, right. <laughs> like, yeah. like from a story standpoint, <laughs> like, I'm like, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> you're you're double marked, man. <laughs> like, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm coming for you. There's too much uh, magic in that weapon. If it if it fumbles, it's gonna like cause you damage back through it or something like that. I don't yeah, know. I, you know, you're, I, you're, <laughs> you're you're breaking the universe. Uh, the spell list is lovely. I am very happy yes. for it. Uh, um, yeah. Entangle, Searing Smite, Aid, Gust of Wind, Magic Weapon, Enhance Ability, Warding Bond. I love Warding Bond. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blinding Smite, Meld into Stone, Revivify, Tongues, Death Ward, Dominate Beast. These all make extreme sense mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the Ranger. Warding Bond I like quite Definitely. a bit because as you, you just brought up, 
a very yeah, good yeah. point about warding bond so break break, the, break that. so to me warding bond on there is great for two reasons number one like for beastmaster rangers it's it's obviously it's going to give them more uh, give their beasts a bit more uh, life and let you split some of your hp pool with them but like mm -hmm. the thing that i would always see uh in criticisms of archers particularly archers that are rangers or fighters they've got a d10 hit die is that they don't contribute their pool of hp to the pool of hp that is at jeopardy in a fight right mm -hmm. like fighters barbarians uh, melee types even rogues or some uh pure casters are closer to the front more likely to be hit by aoe's uh more likely to be targeted in melee Whereas if you have an archer that's, I don't know, 120 feet back, perched up, <laughs> whatever, then they might not get hit as much. And so Warding Bond allows you to kind of uh, buy in <laughs> and say like, hey, I'm not really going to be attacked that much. I can take some heat, you know, and, uh, and so I like, uh, I like that it's on there. Yeah, I agree. I think, I think, I think that's um, a very elegant solution to make the, the ranger mm -hmm. more involved in the party. Yes, um, yeah. Primal awareness, you can replace this with, uh, yeah, you can you can um, replace primeval awareness with primal awareness, which I like quite mm -hmm. a bit. You get detect magics, but speak with animals, be sense, locate animals, plants, speak with plants, locate creature and commune with nature. With all this, man, it is very hard for you not to hunt someone down. Right. Because <laughs> you can talk to everything along the way. Yeah. So right. I... if you're running from this dude, <laughs> <laughs> like... He's going to talk to a bug, man, and he's going to, or he's going to talk to like yeah. a blade of grass, and he's going to find you. He's like, going to find you, sure, right? You talk to one of these animals. Hey, can I uh, just let me borrow your nose for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> Go find him. I, what I like this is sort of like I, there is a, um, like I ended up playing my ranger as much more of a spellcaster than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. and um making use of sort of like the ability to switch out a spell when you level up uh yeah i, I can see um both primeval uh, or primal awareness and then the spell versatility getting to sort of replace spells whenever you uh finish a long rest like yeah. they really bring to mind the ranger of like almost like a warrior shaman uh, uh you know they're that I, I know a lot of people have a problem with magic using rangers and I, I like spell versatility for that because you can kind of reflavor it as just tricks yeah, that you and know. I, 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 I don't have a problem with it at all. I don't either. So. I, I like them. <laughs> my, all of, <laughs> like, I, I enjoy coming up with reasons why I know the magic that I know as a ranger and like oh, where yeah, yeah. I learned it from and like, okay, which air elemental did I learn Zephyr Strike from? That kind of thing. But it's a spell. And so I, I like more magic for them. I, I love the fact that there's an option to get druid cantrips because what ranger wouldn't want access like my rangers got access to control of flames and mold earth uh through a feat and it's very fun trust me and only i can prevent forest fires you know that's how i look at it. <laughs> <laughs> but like thorn whip uh, uh shillelagh as a ranger you yeah. know have some fun yeah. with that uh yeah yeah so, I, like i'm just gonna pick up a stick and i'm gonna beat you since yeah <laughs> yeah yeah just pick it up okay it's magic you know <laughs> yeah it's magic now. Uh, there's some fun stuff there's some fun stuff there and and to go back to just um do they get uh, flaming sword as well no they don't no they don't i oh man no, if they got okay. flame blade yeah. that would be insane <laughs> yeah flame uh, <laughs> I would awesome. just run. <laughs> <laughs> I would just run away. I'm like that ranger is terrifying. Uh, but uh, yeah, looking at primal awareness, this is really cool. And it's like even with the when they did the revised ranger, right? Uh, I had a couple of players use it, and um, it was sort of uh, it, it was like uh, having to figure out okay, how many of these creatures are within this like five or six mile radius or whatever. You know, they they picked a campaign enemy, uh, like I think dragons or undead or something like that. And it was a, I remember like it, it really halting the game and being like, okay, well, we kind of want to know how many are there. Like, and, and sort of just as a way of, of, as an ability, it doesn't give the DM any tools for figuring out how to answer the question that it's supposed to answer. And so I like these better because they're much more specific, locate creatures like, oh, I'm looking after this person. Or yeah. uh, you know, commune with nature. You can ask more pointed questions. Well, a lot of role play um, yeah. actually potential here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fade away. Oof. Okay. I don't know. Mm. Instead of hiding plain sight, I just go invisible. This full predator. I'll take it. 
<laughs> certainly right yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh it magically become invisible especially without concentration uh yeah that's uh, that's fun <laughs> So we got ranger right. companion options, and this is what we mentioned before. I really am all for them, including any type of creature or pet or what have you being included within the subclass. This is a step in, you know, this is this is fantastic. Yeah. So you can choose from a, you know, your companion beast. If you're playing the beast master, can be a beast of the air, a beast of the earth, mm -hmm. um, and and the stats are provided, and you can determine what it looks like. You don't have to look through the monster manual and choose one of those things. Um, mm -hmm. So if I want to have a giant bat, you know, yeah. as well, not a giant bat, but a bat as you know, sure. my beast of the air, I can. I get that now. Yeah. And it's and yeah. and they also kind of include um, the best parts of these flying creatures. So like mm -hmm. fly by, mm -hmm. like we you know, we yes. really got into some very interesting territory where people everyone had an owl, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> because because fly by, like why wouldn't you choose an owl? And so it just became yeah. everyone's got an owl. Everyone's got an owl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. What, what if I wanted a raven? You know, <laughs> right, right. And then you start looking at Owl and like, why can't this just be a Raven or why can't this be a Hawk or why can't this be any other kind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the yeah. template approach to this, um, especially yeah. for for beasts like this. It just makes a lot more sense. Um, but yeah, yeah I didn't notice that. I, I guess I missed it, you know, flyby. Being, but that's cool. Yeah, the the, the type of uh, you know, and, uh, it's a beast of elemental energy, and so I, I like this. I like the flavoring mm -hmm. of this. This solves a lot of things that people were complaining about before. Mm -hmm. Um. It, it 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 get you know it it scales with you now um i i'm i make i'm like i i i would be i am i am actively excited to play play a ranger and try these now and i oh, my yeah. first character was a ranger so yeah originally so this makes me want to like come home <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Come home and see what's going on with. I don't know which ranger I would do now. But I'm tempted by no. Horizon Walker and the Swarm, but because uh, I feel like Horizon Ooh. Walker works much better now. And certainly, uh, Horizon Walker works better now. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I and, kind of uh, like. I mean, I think Mon I think Monster Slayer is still one that I'm. I'm looking to find the right. Uh, right monster kind of game slayer, for monster slayer yeah. super strong yeah especially if yeah. you want to take down like a lich <laughs> oh right oh god like oh, so wait but wait with 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 favorite foe and monster slayer's mark yeah yeah and you and that's so that's two damage enhancers without concentration and then you could layer uh zephyr strike or well uh, yeah you can do that and like then you've i mean, I mean unless you're using yeah. our does zephyr strike work that way though Zephyr Strike gives you one uh, one bonus strike. Uh, usually okay. uses oh, like yes, a move. Yes, it does. Uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm th I'm thinking of the other one that's like Whirlwind. Um, oh, he's uh, like Steel Wind. That wizards can cast. Yeah, yeah. The where it's like. Oh yeah, yeah. Get you. Oh yeah, yeah. The, I know the wizards. About. I'm 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 a pretend fighter. <laughs> yes. Uh, sword yeah. Sword Burst. Uh, no, it's not Sword Burst. It's some. <laughs> not it's sword like burst. a fifth level spell. Yeah, and you're like you oh, just yeah. go everywhere. You attack five people all at once. Spell. Oh, I don't. Um, yeah, I think that is Steel Wind. Maybe. I'm forgetting. I don't ever get up to that level of spells with, with uh, yeah. my rangers. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully well. But uh, um, yeah, I, I'm loving. So, I love the this the new stuff here with Ranger School. The the uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what else so we much, is there to say so about it. It's just social it's like, it's, Yeah, it's, it's going to cause a brain bleed. Um, Rogue gets coming <laughs> aim. This is hilarious to me. So like every <laughs> so much is in this, and then Rogue is like cutting aim, just cutting aim. I yeah, sure, like, okay. To me, this looks like a uh, a way to to sort of head off the can I hide? Is there a, is there cover? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like th that mother, may I uh, use my base class feature to do my my combat trick? That yeah, that yeah. can happen. We get a lot of uh, uh, people sort of asking about how to how to run hiding in combat, how to handle this. Should the rogue get their attack sneak attack every? Uh, every round and i'm just sort of like it seems like the answer to that's yes <laughs> like but maybe yeah. they have a problem with someone running behind the same tree every you know six seconds and then getting their sneak attack this to me this is speaks to that um 
That's how I see it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sorcerer spell list. We got we got more spells for the sorcerer. Um, I agree with mm-hmm. absolutely all these primal savage savagery. I mean, if you your innate magic comes with inside of you, especially if you're like a draconic, right? Um, yeah, sorcerer primal savagery just makes sense. You know, yeah, you got grease. Uh, grease works well if you're an oozy aberrant mind. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, protection yeah. from good and evil is just nice to have. Flame blade uh, is interesting. Flame uh-huh. sphere is also interesting. Vampiric touch makes a lot of sense in sure. that, like maybe you've got some kind of you know that necrotic energy. You're that that uh-huh. shadow of hell um, sorcerer Ooh, who I yeah. like so much. Um, you get, which started this off a little bit actually having that, that Houndville Omen stats right um, right right built into the class uh fire shield makes sense again shield. flesh to stone, stone. demi plane is cool foresight okay yeah all right i mean i can i can see them all i some of these i i did i thought they would already have had like like vampire touch um right but uh foresight i think is i mean it's a solid ninth level spell i kind of like it uh, uh flaming fantastic Flaming Sphere is interesting because isn't it a bonus action to like control and move around, or is it one of those actions? Yeah, I think it is. I cannot remember. Action. Here we are uh, talking as if we don't have access to. Uh, yeah, to the Beyond. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me check real quick. But yes, uh, so I can see that being a good uh, way of just like getting a, a big damage booster or something like that. Uh, but yeah, what do you think? Of, what do you think of the can rearrange their their spells known on a, uh, with this spell uh, variant. Uh, I am or spell happy. versatility. I, I, I'm glad. Like, what if I, I, I like I, from I'm a narrative thinking. perspective though? Like, how do you from a narrative how do you see it? perspective? Uh, it, it probably feels like that makes maybe less sense because, like, you, you know, you're, it feels like the spells that you learn as a sorcerer are just part of your DNA, and you know, sure. it's very much you're a mutant. Um, mm-hmm. But sorcerers can need more things. Sure. Uh, no, that so, that is so, certainly true. Certainly true. Yeah. So 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 narratively, yeah. You know, um, I get it. Mm. I, I, it. It doesn't it doesn't connect with me right away. Us just talking about. It, I, I may think of something later that makes it make more sense for me. This um, is this is one of these things where I might include this as an option, uh, either as a consequence for something, right. or like I already allow my my brother's playing a um, uh, a wild sorcerer. I forget what. Forget the the official name for them, and we right. came up with a custom spell list oh, that includes yeah. some druid spells because he's sort of like from the Feywild, and it makes sense. Okay. And then I just posited, I was like, "What if every time we played, you have a different number of you have a different list of spells known? Like your yeah. magic is so unpredictable that you don't even day to day, it's not the same." And so yeah. that's how we do it, but it's random as well. <laughs> he rolls. Kinda, you know, it, I can definitely see a really fun character, kind of like Darwin from X Men, who, you know, whatever damage you deal to them, they kind of evolve to it. So, like, you know, when you look at this extended spell list, even you know, like, okay, you hit me with a fireball, well, I can you do flaming sphere, sphere now, right? Like, you hit me with mm-hmm. necrotic energy, I have vampiric touch. That gets interesting. Mm-hmm. I would actually like yeah. to see that as a class. Like if you get yeah. hit by this damage type, you get this spell as a reaction. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> like yeah. that would be, oh, just a, like a mirror really, subclass yeah. would be like super strange. That um, would be really cool. That would you're be really just cool. like come on. You're just waiting for people to hit you. You're just like come on, <laughs> hit me, hit me. It's you're fun. like rogue, yeah, from <laughs> X Men. Like you're just like hit, hit me. Go ahead, make make contact with me. <laughs> just do it. Yeah, I have a uh, I had a, a villain that had something similar, but it was more immunity. Uh, hit whatever you attack with uh, they're now just immune to uh so you have to keep hitting them with different uh, effects that was deliberately yeah. frustrating <laughs> yeah yeah i can see that um yeah these, these these new empowering reserves imbuing touch you know making something magical oh, yeah. sorcerer's fortitude these are all decent and uh they're they're great and now you have more options for your sorcery points to be used yeah. um so that's that's what they need because before it's kind of like twin spell and subtle spell all the time sure um it's, it's nice to see a little bit more stuff here you know elemental spell seeking spell mm-hmm. unerring spell so some of yeah. these were lore uh lore wizard options uh right like i know that lore you were able to yeah. change their damage types um i'm not sure about seeking although i kind of like i do kind of like that uh and then um an earring spell here re- re-rolling the attack so there's a lot of these i can see 
I like unearing just because you get the like anything that lets you sort of re-roll, uh, which means yeah. that you could also do it even if you had advantage on the attack. Yeah. Uh, so I, I I think of those I really like that, but um, being able to swap out your damage is I don't know that seems to me some some depending on how what mood I'm in I might just feel like you can just do that <laughs> like like I might not let you have to even pay for it. There's you tell me there's well, not a spell that summons a giant ball of acid. Yeah, well this is <laughs> this is the thing I uh, this is the biggest deal, and I would say this is oh, yeah. the, when it comes to meta magic options the the one that is akin to twin spell or subtle spell is now elemental spell. Oh, certainly. Uh, if it's easy. every time you cast, yeah. If it's yeah, every time you, you cast, that's one thing. You can turn it, turn a fireball into just a ball of acid. You know, mm -hmm. you 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 are now. You can so quickly adapt to the situation on the battlefield, and this is exactly what the sorcerer should be able to do with meta magic. Right. Um, right. I feel it's super powerful, but again, I think this is a great fit for the sorcerer, and they deserve it. <laughs> certainly. And also, yeah. if you're playing a sorcerer who is like tied to a certain kind of planar energy you know maybe you just do yeah. it as flavor like a necro um, well you don't get to do a necrotic fireball but wow no <laughs> but, still, but still you yeah. know but you can get uh and, and now it makes more sense seeing the kind of spells that they added to the list because if you're assuming elemental uh yeah, energy is a so then flaming sphere flame blade, flame those now blade become becomes ice blade. lightning blade ice blade yeah. all kinds of fun things yeah yeah, uh, fire you're, shield. You're, yeah, same thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This then this makes like perfect sense. This is we start we start to see some synergy. Even primal savagery can do. Well, no, no, that's just right. poison. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, you, I thought it used to be acid. It's not acid anymore. Oh no, it might be acid. So yeah, you can change like you have flaming claws. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean it, it's funny because like we're gonna think of stuff after the show. <laughs> oh, sure. But that's a very right. good point. So there is a question in chat, and uh, I am curious as well. Yeah. Um, unarmed fighting style and restraining grapple thoughts. <laughs> Ooh, uh, man, I mean, my rune knight's looking a oh, lot meaner. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you, because I, oh, now yeah. my rune knight is walking in like Superman and doesn't care. <laughs> like, he doesn't need a weapon. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> how does this work? <laughs> unarmed so fighting I, I, style. Yeah, so an arm fighting style, you make your attack, right? And you got to two fist yeah. it, right? You got to come in there with the uh, the old, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> and, yeah. and attack. And then you get restraining strike. Well, I'm assuming then that you'd have to be a battle master in that case because you use an unarmed fighting style, or unless you had martial adept feet. You don't. Uh, you don't need to be battle master now. No. No, right? How else? Do you, how else would you? Because if you're taking unarmed strike as your fighting style, then because it's not you're the getting some of those technique. options later as a fighter. Ooh, let's see. I think maybe I maybe I misread the fighting section. Maybe let's I'm missing it. Misreading this. Yeah, we. Which one we'll, of us? We'll, yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, we're having to move a little bit forward here for this question. Um, That's right. Fighter. Fighter. How did I skip? Um, you went right to Ranger. That's my fault. Yeah, we're do we're doing a two parter on this. It's got to be no way. Yeah. We're, we're no way are we doing this all. No, there's um, no way. So fighter style options: the first level fighter feature, enhanced fighting style feature, gets ah, you access yes. to variants in fighting styles. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So you got superior, superior technique. technique. You learn one maneuver from the battle master. Battle master is the most powerful fighter and the most versatile, except for I would argue Rune Knight. Rune Knight it may have a beat. Um, Rune Knight, but... I think Rune Knight would have to take Martial Adept to do that, but you could still the Rune Knight with with that and others. It just that's nuts. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. And <laughs> it, it does bring up an interesting question about the fighter because we, we're seeing like, okay, let's give the Battle Master to all fighters to a degree. Mm -hmm. Sure, it's a little bit of specialization, and honestly, Battle Master is like a super strong fighter, and it's it's hard to not choose that. Um, Oof, oof. I got uh, some of these are amazing. Like you know, you got snipe, you got studious eye. But these are these are the ones that are a little strange to me. Actually, these enhanced maneuvers. Um, yeah. Like you know, you got ambush. Not you know you, when you make a stealth check. Like you can make a very specific fighter now. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you can make that one that say that, that quips. <laughs> 
yeah that's the silver tongue fighter i'm like well i mean i can make a loki now for sure with rune knight oh, and yeah. silver tongue now i'm yes. just like charming as heck but i'm still a fighter um is this yeah. taking too much away from other classes i mean I it's a different i don't know that it's... i feel it does i think you nah. just have to build it that way you have to spend a you have to spend a resource, so it's not like expertise. And and That's even true. though you potentially get uh, a greater benefit uh, than you get from expertise, like you're you don't you know you you wouldn't necessarily want to do this every time because these are taking away from your ability to boost your damage and things like that. Yeah, but yeah. I, I think it like like combine this with the battle master's ability to sort of like read an opponent, yes. and and sort of like get you know uh, uh, size them up. And yeah. like I can really see um like Silver Tongue being able, you know, sort of you're a you know, you're good in a uh, a diplomatic situation or a combat situation. And well, I and think honestly, you know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, actually I'm a little surprised. I mean, this is part of fighting. <laughs> yeah, ever, exactly right. Like, yeah. I, I, uh, what's play way of say this? I grew up in a rough neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> but half, half the battle sometimes is psychological um but sure. i also was in like martial arts later which teaches teaches you not to be a truant um right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's also like a, strangely a big part of that can be psychological as well and so silver sure. tongue and studious eye and things like that can actually make a lot of sense for a fighter i mean if you look like yeah. at pro wrestling um that that's another example of like theatrics sure and, sure. and being able to say the right thing and so maybe you're a little bit more trained this kind of reminds me of the gladiator right yeah so you, yeah you can be this this charming fighter that 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 can get by they, they're not going to be you know the bard of eloquence but they're sure. gonna certainly get, by. They get so the fighters you can oh. expand on a, a a character concept with them and because they're maneuvers and now they're potentially open to any fighter yeah. through superior technique, even if you're not using feats. Uh, I like I like Snipe personally. I, I, I'm confused on the name at first, but then when I was looking at it, I was sort of like, oh, well, I can, like, Snipe is sort of my throne weapon, like take the throne weapon fighting uh, style that like they have draw. now. It's almost like quick draw for your, for your dagger. I can see it being like you have a rapier or something in one hand and daggers that you just sort of throw in the other. Uh, yeah. Or you get uh, Jarlaxle's bracer is really what you need. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't, I, 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 I can't not love this because now I can like do that. That I can get those that cloud, that cloud giant rune. I can get mm -hmm. that storm giant rune, and I'm really good at like dis I'm persuasion and deception and stuff. Oh, like yeah. I can, I, now I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I, I'm like, I, I, love I, good I can really fighter. fulfill that um trickster fighter <laughs> that I've always wanted to play now in every possible way. Absolutely. Um, what do you think so, so did we answer their question did we answer their yeah, question about, I, feel, uh, uh, I mean i think deep, it's a powerful uh, combo it's in yeah under fighting is very very strong and again if you're a giant and you young. already have you know oh <laughs> you god if you're some people. Oh, i mean that's the other <laughs> thing is if you're if you can enlarge yourself then restraining strike plus unarmed strike the yeah. fighting style is is going to be nuts and then that's like i don't know to me that's cool because there's I don't you're know. a different type I, of fighter now now I you're can a different see, like, kind of fighter you're a different yeah it's just yeah, different Rune, and i like being Rune able to gets just big oof. and just mm. like darth vader somebody yeah <laughs> like i don't see it as wrestling i just see it as i pick you up yeah yeah <laughs> like and then you. i start to switch in this hulk, <laughs> i hulk smash you <laughs> right i want to hulk uh, out i like fighting monsters confused. with my bare hands anyway i'm confused about the damage on it unarmed fighting so you can deal you do one d six plus your strength modifier. Yeah. Um, your strength, and I assume like with Rune Knight, for example, this would be added to your attack. Obviously, um, this uh -huh. goes up to one d eight on top of that. When you're successful, when you successfully start a grapple, you can deal one d four bludgeoning damage to the grappled creature. The, I just assume that this would work with Rune Knight, where you just pummel them with for extra damage as well. It'd be hard for me not to rule in that favor. Um, mm -hmm. So you just. Cr crush someone <laughs> right yeah yeah I, I mean this is sort of like uh it, it's not an attack so you wouldn't get anything that, that keys off of an attack having to hit to give you extra oh, stuff yeah right? that's a good point yeah i'll have to take a so look so it's just 
it's just an extra d4 it's basically like i it's it's like i'm fighting with two weapons and i didn't take the two weapon fighting style yeah. you know like it's it's just dagger damage but it's more than what most people get and like i sort of see you know strike with two free hands is sort of like the classic kirk haymaker sort of i guess that blows uh blows my mind because swing. i've never seen that that's be effective a, right? <laughs> like that seems like or I, or maybe it could just be a different way of saying like you're hitting twice and it's just you know instead of two attacks it's just better damage i can tell maybe you i've I, never I, been hit by that approach and ever been affected <laughs> like it's a, i it's i just will your arms I'll accept like it. this and hit something it makes no sense <laughs> I will accept it as the throwing the unarmed fighter a bone so that they don't have to lag behind the long sword fighter. Uh, I yeah. will, I'll, I can jump that. Uh, uh, this makes me all play like a kind of a Superman yeah. kind of hero now. I just like I'm yeah. just gonna I'm just gonna punch you. Um, yeah. I yeah. I would say like I'm seeing in chat fists uh, still aren't weapons. I was like that. Come on, talk to your DM because uh, I think there's a lot of fun that could be had. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, okay. First of all, I feel like fists should be weapons um because they're sure, yes and i also yeah. feel like shields could be should have be weapons as yeah. well but uh, yeah, yeah that's how i feel about that warlocks getting a little interesting here we got there again thunder wave knock animate dead which is interesting Ooh, because yes. of the um yeah yes the the, the, uh... <laughs> the, the, the short rest mechanic uh originally i thought you know the one where that just what's the spell what's the spell um dance macabre dance macabre uh mm -hmm. was invented specifically to deal with the issue with why warlocks don't have animate dead now the yeah, short that's rest what I animate dead gets kind of weird maybe it's gonna um, get way out of hand well first off like you got it there's uh for dms curious about this there's still a gemstone component right to animate dead yeah like if you're yeah. worried if you're a dm worried about that then just enforce the components right and bodies <laughs> you know like yeah are there enough i mean are there's, there enough, there's nothing more component <laughs> heavy than anime dead <laughs> and if you're wanting to be if you want to be a real stickler as soon as you animate them they're no longer humanoids so you can't by the rules reanimate your hacked apart zombies they're not yeah. humanoids they're undead or i'm not sure that i buy that i think as long as you want to keep bolting them back together you can animate them but yeah. it's on you. They're not going to be allowed in the tavern. Life transference <laughs> makes a lot. Yeah, life transference <laughs> makes a lot of sense. I really, I'm really happy to see this as a warlock spell. Mislead mm -hmm. is one of my favorite spells, and I was oh sorely God, I sad it. that was not included because I wanted to really, you know, uh, my character Abram was a hexblade at the time, and he was all about that mirror image. Mislead is like right there for that kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, Planar binding is memory. cool to see. I love modern binding player, player, makes yeah. completely sense teleportation yeah to all you know yeah, yeah. Magic, magic jar magic jar magic jar is a spell that's just it's it's um it can be nuts like it's it's one of the, it's very specialized but in the situations where you get a lot of use out of it it's uh it can run rampant project image is fun yeah uh, that's uh, like a 500 mile scry yeah <laughs> and your ability is to connect to yeah. you did you listen you connected to something somehow so you should be able to be you should be the guy um that knows how to connect to like the other yeah. planes i mean yes you just yeah. should be so um that's why gate is here at ninth level shape change um mm -hmm, weird mm -hmm. and weird just for the sake of the name um, <laughs> <laughs> These invocations, though, man. Wow. Okay. Oh. So, we... yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what okay, I was, I was hoping we would get to these today. Yeah. We got to do this because I, um, because I play so much with uh, my wife in D and D. Uh, I'm always looking for like warding bond. This is why I like the rune knight because there's a lot of protection, um, magic that can be applied to her character and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So we can like just go in there and just beat the crap out of stuff together. Yeah. Bond, you know like bond of the talisman you can make a talisman for someone else to wear yeah um i mean well this before we get to that yeah so there's a new thing called uh the new pack boon is pact of the talisman you can give pact this talisman, talisman to any per person this gives them advantages to um proficiency checks which is super <laughs> cool um yeah. i mean sure you can keep it for yourself but this is really about you forming a bond with someone else mm-hmm 
um, which I love. And so you got Bond of the Talisman. This allows you to just teleport to them um, as long as they're both on the same pa- pa- you know plane of existence. Mm-hmm. Um, I can teleport to you. You can. It's. It's. I really like that. It's sort of like the. Uh, it reminds me of that ranger one right the, la- uh, the last time there was the ranger or it was rogue uh, i forget that you could teleport to where like one of your little uh critters had gone off to yes yes well yeah, wildfire what, wildfire, what, wildfire <laughs> no 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 uh, it is the swarm swarm ranger and so this is kind of mm. yeah yeah it's similar to that and except we, a bit more friendly to the party and one of the you know the the one of the artificers um the archivist had a, had yeah. a super powerful ability that actually traversed all planes mm. um which was interesting <laughs> um the familiar stuff is great i i'm not a huge familiar player but you know bonus action you can command that you're familiar to attack eldritch armor is basically like cast off armor but this is crazy because now you can play a hex blade and wear a full suit of plate I, armor or anyone can yeah any the, warlock it, it, can now wear full plate it's just it's a little uh yeah i, I love it like because one of the things about the uh pact of the blade and, and just uh the the summoning weapons right is i loved in the like say the elder scrolls games where you could set up one of those spells that gives you the entire suit of demonic armor plus the weapon yeah. and, you know, all you need is for is like 30 seconds right yeah. and the fact that i felt like i still couldn't do that i'd, I'd settle for like mage armor or a dip yeah. into fighter uh at first level but this i just like that it's it you just sort of touch it <laughs> you don't even get the proficiency yeah. it's it's more the, the, the magic of it yeah <laughs> yeah and this is now mine and uh, this is not mine <laughs> yeah yeah uh it's, you it's, instantly it's, dawn it oh my god I didn't, I didn't read that yeah yeah no so you're full on iron man like yeah. you're just like Shh. right and yeah I, 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 the flavor that you can put around this is very interesting um and so um yeah i'm definitely you know, I keep on trying. So I keep on saying that I'm the perfect warlock for two years and I'm so boxed in. But like now they keep yeah. on making like more reasons for me never to leave warlock. It's very frustrating. I, I mean, <laughs> every like, time they. Yeah. Every time like are, there's new warlock invocations, it's it's a it's going to be like a class that keeps on giving similar to sort of like battle master fighter or something like that, because every time yeah. there's new options, there's more stuff to play with. Yeah, oh, Elbert's yeah. mine now. You're even better at like concentrating on spells if you want to. So if Ooh, you're in the thick yeah. of it, this is super important. It's like, it, but uh-huh. what's interesting is like you got this is a pact of the tome feature. So now you're like a very like um, I wouldn't say a tanky spellcaster, but you're a spellcaster that can get in it. Yeah, um, definitely. And, uh, of course, because you know when you read books, you're super <laughs> concentrating. <laughs> Far scribe. Oh my god, I love this to death. I love this to pieces. You write someone's name in the book um your 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 little book shadows and you can you can write you can sense you spent sending and talk to them and when and they communicate back to you with writing on your book That's this is so flavorful and creepy right. and useful and i can see this in a film without explanation yeah. like i can yeah. see you saying hey uh are you guys in place and then you see the writing on the book saying yeah we're here like mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. so evocative this is one of the coolest invocations for you know fault you know far scribe is just um so flavorful and interesting um i know it's not like it's not overpowered or anything like that i just think it's just cool in my brain i want to see this in yeah. a movie yeah I, um, I love the imagery of it i love that you know you sort of write the name there and that it's essentially this you know the, it's the translation from speech to this inky writing in the book that uh that i really yeah. like and then it goes yeah away. and it, it makes me want more of that type of uh, ability <laughs> yeah. for yeah. the pact of the tome actually um because back before pack to the tome i'd just be like eh, i want more spells yeah <laughs> you yeah. know i just want more cantrips this is one of those um, things where i i kind of use the pact of the tome or or something like that it i'll make my own stuff up this is like requests from the patron or or just information will show up as automatic writing or yeah. or have the warlock like with their pack of tomes like wake up writing in their book and they didn't realize it oh you God, know like no. they're asleep in their hand <laughs> it's just going <laughs> or they oh. open up there was no there was nothing there the day before and now there's writing oh, there man. from 
you know, something. So that's such a great I, tool. Like a new spell just sh- appears that morning. It just appears. Yeah. 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 It's just there. Yeah. Um, which speaking of uh, which is, is one of the reasons why I don't mind warlocks getting spell versatility later. Cause to me, the yeah. it's, it's totally their patron. It's just like, yeah, you need this now. You yeah. know. <laughs> oh, and then, and again, as I like to play warlocks, I stole it. It's mine. Yes. <laughs> I got the magic yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> like, so now. Yeah. I found um, the back door. <laughs> that could be kind of interesting in the sense that, like, the pet the, in that way, maybe you stole a magical book and it is bound to you now. Like, what yeah. I mean, what if you, you, I like, you like stole Vec- one of Vecna's spell books and it's yours and Vecna yeah. wants you dead? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, that's fun. <laughs> um, Just taking their power. Yeah. So, new page appears. Now, this is Gift of the Protectors. Um, the new page appears nuts. in the Book of Shadows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can write someone name down and when that creature whose name is on the page is reduced to zero hit points but not killed outright um that creature magically drops to one hit point instead once this magic magic is triggered no creature can benefit benefit from it until a long rest um you're giving anyone you want a zombie mechanic uh mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this ability exists in a lot of classes and if you look at the undying warlock kind of has this um the revived right. rogue is certainly um Similar, almost impossible to kill you, you want to give right. this to the revived rogue and they can just jump off a mountain um, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's sort of like the half orc feature right the uh go scout a, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just see what's out there <laughs> uh this is great especially if, like again like i would totally uh ca- cast this on um uh my but wife's like- character at the same time like you were saying, it's it's the features and 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 here that are that are about extending benefits of your uh, your to your party, your, yeah, to your party. Whereas it did, you know, to me the thing that I can think about warlocks is that they are good like extra characters in a group, you know, or mm-hmm. solo characters, right? Like if it's a five person party, then they're two spell slots and not you know they're not gonna be able to say throw a big buff on everybody necessarily yeah um unless they've purpose built that way but i can see these invocations there's more like you're gonna get more stuff you're bringing more to the table uh and so i really like that i really like seeing them extend all that uh out to the party well i just <laughs> i well, yeah. texted by a friend of mine about wait hex warlocks can get a full plate now <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say who just texted me. <laughs> but, it, but it's pretty funny that uh, I don't know if they're watching this show right now or if they just like read it in they UA. Just read it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Let's get some full plate hex, hexblade action. I'm, yeah, I'm, let's I'm do for it. it. Yeah, I mean hexblade wasn't powerful before. <laughs> oh. oh, come on now now you are uh, uh just a monster with smiting action and everything else um yeah uh so protection of sorry that distracted me uh, <laughs> protection of the talisman um this is another this is another great thing for your party the, the wearer can literally add this to their saving throws um that if they don't have a proficiency in that particular saving throw um yeah. rebuke of the talisman Anyone messes with a person that has your talisman um, will take psychic damage, you know, equal to the charisma modifier and get pushed 10 feet back. Mm. I don't think this is very overly powerful by any means, you know, 10 foot, you know, they can run over up and hit them again, but it is definitely like, do you really want to do this? Cause you're going to get hit. Yeah. Is it every time they hit them? Uh, it needs a react. It requires a reaction. It requires uh, a reaction, but you can keep but- doing this. Like sure. you can keep sizzling them um, in the background for attacking somebody else. Mm-hmm. And if you got a tank whose s- specific purpose is to get hit, um, right. I don't see this as something you cast on like a wizard to protect, uh-uh. no. you know, protect them. You put this on like the barbarian and the barbarian is going to just like, yes, please hit me. Yeah. <laughs> just full Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I, I really like, I, I like this. I like this sort of pact. And wasn't there another pact with the talisman, like in an earlier UA that just never made it in? I, I can't uh, There might've been. Yeah. 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 Something, some, I remember some kind of amulet or, or something. Um, 
but this one I, I like a lot just because it is like a, you can give this feature to someone else. The fact that they're getting, say, on protection from talisman, uh, bonus to their saves, which is not something that is easy to come by. Um, right. And then this rebuke is really fun as well, uh, especially the pushback. Um, but yeah, yeah the I'm, pushback I, I think is the most interesting, especially if they're already like, I mean, you got Eldritch Blast too, so you're just knocking people around. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. You, now yeah. you've knocked them back by twenty feet if you're hitting them with <laughs> even one of those. <laughs> one of those Eldritch Blasts hits them. You can knock them back oh, yeah. like you know, another ten feet, another ten feet. So you can. You can it, it does make me want to have miniature a miniature game and just see the the, the just the bonkers stuff that you can oh, yeah. accomplish <laughs> as, definitely as, with 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 powers like this. Um, mm-hmm. We're actually doing pretty good. We're not going to get to the monk because I don't actually know monks that well and we'll try that later um yeah. do we have any questions from chat specifically um yeah i i, I could answer some questions from chat because uh, i think i mean we still line fighting uh, is pretty yeah. great and i think it's great yeah. if you're playing a character in particular um who is incited uh yes i i, I think I, because I, I think this is this opens it up to a different type of character and also you know not everyone who plays DD uh can see and Certainly. this now you can play someone who is a very competent fighter who has no disadvantage to attack roles who is you know, if you want to make them daredevil or whatever you can easily do this mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. so uh, i really I like, like it, it. it- it's really cool. I think it it does, uh, you know, if you're a DM uh, or, or even a player, knowing the difference between what's when something is hidden and when you just can't see it is right. uh, is going to be. It's one of those w- sort of like weird kind of par- parsing of uh, terms that uh, hiding yeah. and being unseen <laughs> requires. But yeah, it works. Oh he- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, my friend is watching me. Um, from, from like, <laughs> all right yeah I, i'm being observed <laughs> being so, observed yes yeah but it's if, like if there's anything you want us to talk about you let us know we've got eight minutes <laughs> left in the show <laughs> um so flying fighting is i think pretty great throne throne weapon fighting i'm super super excited for um yes. i don't I think really it's like super it's overly powerful but yeah it's, i want if i want to specialize in throwing thing. axes and again you Ru- knight I'm getting my strength bonus to that. Like I'm just tossing. Yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Um, I I could definitely. You... I would definitely uh, play. You know what? I now I, I see. I have an artificer who uses um, uh, th- returning throwing daggers. And uh, what I and so because the, you put the enchantment on them now they're magic weapons so they get right. the uh that extra attack and then it's like a you know there are two returning weapons one of them's a bonus action so i would dip fighter for uh for this just because it's it'd be worth yeah. it and i i just sort of like the idea of someone throwing a bunch of returning knives it's really fun yeah oh yeah <laughs> totally now, now you can kind of live that because everyone likes that kind of cool stuff um oh yeah uh th- being able to throw weapons i love throwing axes i think it's cool yes. um interception is pretty great i gotta tell you and uh mm-hmm. you do have to wear a shield but this allows a fighter or a ranger even um ranger yeah. with a shield interesting um to you know prevent a certain amount of damage to someone who's near them this is again a more cohesive party experience like you've you could have a party of all fighters and if everyone has like the right abilities like it's it's like shield wall right like now we can do shield wall where a bunch of fighters are like together and they're blocking damage for each other and they can just mow things down so like if you i mean not that i'm like everyone's going to do an all fighter party but i have friends who will totally be down for an all fighter party and then you can finally (laughs) have this like really group of of uh of fighters that have shields and they're blocking the damage and and they're being able to do all this really cool stuff and specialize now the fighter can be like anything everyone can specialize in something different and i think this is really cool um yeah. a big point that someone just made is the diviner actually has divine um yes. divination <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is a always been a, a weird one uh but yeah the fact yeah. that they actually now officially have it is, is nice um, I like yeah. the interception with the bait and switch maneuver personally. I think the two of those work really nice uh, and make bait a very, oh, very yeah. tanky fighter. Yeah, bait um, and switch is so interesting because you do you you literally switch places with somebody 
and it, as, long, as long as they're within five feet of you, and then they get like an AC bonus uh, equal to your what? Your strength modifier? To your, uh, to your superiority die, I believe. So, yeah, yeah, to the number so that's great. That's a nice little like, get out of the way. Yeah. You, know, uh, you pull someone back in the heat of battle. Uh, these are all very cinematic moment kind of stuff, and uh, I think these Definitely. work great for the fighter. Yeah. Um, makes the Let's fighters see. powerful, but they kind of need it because they don't have smites. So sure, yeah, um, absolutely. Let's so see. I stick with the dead about, for uh, necromancy. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that that might have been an oversight not having that. Augury, yes. um, as well. I don't know if I'm saying that properly. I gotta say, Sounds sorcerer. Right. The only thing I would change, I would get call lightning on that sorcerer, so we could solve absolutely. that storm sorcerer issue of not being able to call lightning. So yeah. that's my request Same. out there into the ether. Uh, call lightning for sorcerers. Yeah, that would be yeah. pretty cool. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, so I saw someone in chat there bring up a point about the strength fifteen requirement for plate armor, and yes. whether or Interesting. not, like I don't, you know, I'm not sure if that eldritch armor would uh, oh. be proficient with this armor until it's removed. Like whether that would give. Uh, you know, is it, you know, where, what do you do with that? Is it that they can't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, how do you build that character? I mean, like, um, making somebody very different. So, yeah, if you are a Hexblade, for those that don't know at home, if you're playing a Hexblade Warlock, which I often do, uh, you don't, you could be, you know, I played with uh, one that had actually a strength of eight, who is just like thin, <laughs> like ghostly thin, but had a great sword the size yeah. of like something from Final Fantasy and Cloud, right? You know, like just this <laughs> giant barbaric great sword. And so it was so creepy. He was like the Grim Reaper. Um, you're allowed to use your charisma um, modifier to do damage instead of your strength or dexterity. Yeah. So that if you've made a character like that, you can't wear a full plate. And as, like, as far yeah. as this is worded for Eldritch armor, yeah, you're stuck. You're in it. You're, you you, you yeah. can't wear a plate armor so what what instances would you do that what instances would you want eldritch armor for a warlock other than just like you're just a really hard to hit spellcaster i mean that never sure. hurts right? yeah 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 i mean especially yeah if you didn't if you were i mean there are builds for uh you know before pre hexblade where you would go like strength and maybe start yeah barbarian or fighter so that right. could work with people who are still playing with those or um well I'm you wouldn't bother think, with like, that now yet though you wouldn't yeah. be a fighter you, you, you wouldn't, wouldn't be need it. yeah yeah i was yeah. gonna say now you wouldn't need it because you get the proficiency from fighter anyway so it I, allows you make I, a different kind of warrior warlock now that isn't the hex definitely player. yeah um, and you could go strength and again there's still the invocation that lets you basically stack strength and charisma for um like right thirsting blade is it right yeah it's like you yeah. can well, add the, your, uh, your charisma thirsting blade i believe means allows you to hit twice i'm not quite sure who's the other one it's been it's been a while but yeah there is there yeah. is one that allows you to add um the modifier on top of that Oof. on top of that Boy, so it could be questions it, yeah there are, a lot of, there are lots uh but there's just a uh yeah um just a lot of uh, life drinker uh, is not in chat yeah that's life, life drinker. drinker yeah that's right okay um yeah it is, yeah. I have to say, now. So, so this, this will all be on D and D Beyond. Um, it will take some time. This is very complex, unearthed arcana stuff. It will take time for the devs to, uh, you know, uh, input this into D and D Beyond. Please be very patient. Um, mm -hmm. We can we can't even talk about all of this in an hour. Uh, no. <laughs> to uh, Jim and my's liking. Um, and what's funny is like, I'm not going to understand some of this until I do it in D and D beyond. Right. Like sure. I, yeah. this whole elder charmer thing. I'm like, okay, what kind of warlock build am I going to make now? Because I can I kind of want to make a buff warlock. Right. Like I, I, yeah. I do like, I don't want to, uh, I'd love the hex blade, but maybe I don't want to do that. So like, what kind yeah. of fighter can I make? Um, and can they go toe to toe with the hex blade? Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's the good. That's the big question because, or like my first fifth edition character was a um, was a dragonborn barbarian warlock, and mm. it was sort of like the idea being that uh, you know that they were this ra rage filled uh, but demon possessed weapon kind of thing, and yeah. it, I had to do a lot of 
rearranging of things just to make it work. And I could see with this, it's sort of like, I, I, there's a different way there. I like the idea of someone whose magic is a consequence of maybe something they did with, in anger or, or after losing a battle or something. And they're not yeah. necessarily a caster. They're just a person who, had, right. who made a bad, who made a raw deal. <laughs> well, I am definitely going to ask Jeremy Crawford tomorrow about Eldritch Armor. Yeah. And I will report back. <laughs> <laughs> I have questions, but I think mm. these are all brilliant and fun. I don't think that any of them are particularly overpowered. I do like the idea of having my now, my rune knight, who is now giant size, just picking people up and just crushing them, <laughs> Darth Vader style. Yes. Um, and also the ability to be like a little bit more charismatic and you know, manipulative as a fighter. It, uh, fighters need more personality, and I think this gives it to them. Sorcerers mm -hmm. need more spells. Um, and warlocks just getting more goodness, man. Uh, war <laughs> warlock, lot, every, yeah. every day is warlock Christmas. I mean, every um, time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> Everyone sells to the warlock. And again, Ranger is. Uh, I, yeah. I, I can't see anyone complaining about Ranger now. Not really. I really no, don't. I, I, yeah, it, it's it's really good now. Whether it's like five point five or something like that, I I don't know, and I don't know how it's all going to fit together. And, in the and end, they get blinding smite. They get smites. By the way, they get revivified. They got death ward. Rangers can do a searing smite, a blinding smite. Now rangers are now a whole different bag. So uh, yeah. we're, we're, we've gone over big surprise. Sure. Um, we definitely need to turn this into a two hour show at some point. Uh, thank you, Jim Davis uh, <laughs> from web DM for joining me on another woo, deep dive into an earth or Um Oh yes. We'll probably do it again next week. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Get, 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 to, and then like actually sit down with some questions maybe once we get there. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll really sit down with people's questions about th this new yeah. UA and, and hash it out. And I'll, I will have learned probably a lot more from talking to yes. Jeremy. Um, and, uh, yeah, we will be back. Check out everything, all all things WebDM. I watch their their channel virtually every day. Today I was watching a whole bunch of stuff about Planescape and Planescape Adventures on their channel. It's really great. They uh, have an awesome YouTube channel, a fantastic Patreon. Uh, go check out their stuff. Uh, they are a very good way to learn about D&D. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for everyone waiting for this alt content to drop on D&D Beyond. And thanks for watching Todd Talks. And thank you to my friend in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.